interesting debut. <laughs> yeah, it's a good game. Uh, last, the last weeks are too busy for me, but I'm happy to, to stay here. I remember I training only one day to, to debut in, in Goodison Park, but the team win and I'm very happy to, to stay here and to adapt in, in the team. Were you aware of the intensity of the match with Tottenham? Were you told for your home debut what a big match it is for Chelsea? Yeah, it's a, it's a derby. All the, all, the, all the derbies are, are difficult, are a, lot, a good atmosphere, are very sometimes stationed, but I think the, the team plays really good. I think uh, we, we create uh, more chances to, to win the game, but we we draw in the last minutes, but I think the, the performance of the team are really good. How is the hair? Yeah, good, good. <laughs> um, in all seriousness though, were you surprised that play carried on and the referee didn't check it, so, or there wasn't a foul given? Yeah, for me, yes, because it's too clear. Maybe in the game, I in, in the pitch, I didn't see the in the TV, the 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 video, but I think in the video is is very clear, but this is maybe one error to the to the referee or to the bar, but maybe sometimes the referees are good decisions, sometimes no good decisions, but this is not, not my problem. Uh, the players are think focused on the game and maybe we need um um work work hard to maybe you no know, score this no concede the last this goal in, in the last minute for the for the next games. What did he say to you when the incident happened? No, nothing. But the referee, I think I I see in the in the um, in the stadium uh, checking to to red card and I and, and and for me it's very clear and I think the the video is is very clear. But in this moment the referee, I don't know what happened. But sometimes uh, it's good, sometimes it's bad. I think it's it's like uh, it, this is it, this is football and and I think. In, in this in this game is like an error, but maybe in, in another games the referee take a, a good decisions. Certainly a home debut to remember. And Mark, what was your summer like? Because you were talked about throughout the summer, Manchester City were very interested in you. What, what was it like for you? Tell me about your summer. Yeah, the summer is uh, busy, but uh, a lot of rumors and and I think it's like before come here is when I stay in Brighton in summer. I think it's it's a uh, good moment for me to move to a big club and I think uh, Chelsea is a big club. Uh, I'm very happy to, to stay here. They they um, they are uh, some interested for me all, all, all the summer and, and I'm happy to, to stay here. When Manchester City didn't proceed, of course, Chelsea's interest came in. They paid the money for you. How do you feel about that? And also, when you heard of Chelsea's interest, were you very keen to come here as soon as possible? Yeah, I'm very happy because uh, it's it's a lot of money and I think it's a big responsibility for me. But but I'm happy because the Todd um, and and the Gaffa um, are um, in some or oh, too much interest for for me. For me, come here and I'm very happy to stay here and I need work hard, uh, adapt to the team, um, uh, work hard and 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 this win to win and I play good for, for the club. It was a very entertaining game for the neutral. I know you wanted to win, but how much did you enjoy being part of it and everything that happened at the end? No, it's, it's amazing. I think I, I, I remember um, last season when we play in Brighton. We score in the in the last minute, and and I remember all the stadium. The atmosphere is very good. All the all the fans all the time sing, and I think play with with home is is very nice. The stadium are very famous. It's a, a history stadium, and play for this club is is uh, very nice for me. Um, what is your best position? Do you think, Mark? Because you're fantastic running down that wing. So they say you can maybe go in the centre of the three on the left hand side. What's your preference? Yeah, I think uh, all the three positions in the in the left side I, uh, is good for me. Uh, but I think my my best position is maybe in back four, uh, left left back, because I play all my career in the academies uh, in this position, and I have uh, more more movements and I'm I'm staying more comfortable. But uh, if the gaffer um, put me in another position, I I run uh, as well, and I need uh, to be good for for the team. You had a fantastic season at Brighton. 
Do you have a message for their fans and Graham Potter? Because obviously they're upset to see you go. They understand. They've got good money for you. But do you have a message for them? Yeah, of course. Uh, I mean, uh, this when I come when I came here well, to Brighton is is difficult for me, but they help me a lot. They I need change to to the to the country, to the new language for my family. It's very difficult the first months, but they help and the, and the coach give me the opportunity to play in the Premier League, this club, and for me it's a fantastic year. It's maybe one or, or maybe the best year in my career, and I'm very happy to to all of all of them, to the fans, and, and I'm very happy to, to the Seagulls. Thank you, Mark. Okay, George, BBC. Mark, sorry to go back to your hair, but does it hurt when Christian pulled your head. Did it hurt on on Sunday? <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's it's for me. It's no problem because he, this is, is is before the game. Always I speak with him, and maybe it's a is a a fight in into the pitch. But I have a problem for he, for to him, and and I think it's only one one action in the game. But maybe it's a, a important action because uh, it's possible change the the res, the final result. But I think in we have a. In another opportunity in a in a few months and, and this is uh, our, our opportunity. Are you gonna get your hair cut? No, no, never, never. This is my style. Um, what was the first conversation you had with Thomas Tuchel when when he signed you? What does he want from you and what can the team achieve this season? No, I I'm surprised because uh, this is very happy. Uh, they meet me when I play in Barcelona Academy and I'm very surprised because. He's a, a big guy and, and I don't know why he meet me, but I'm very happy. He say I need work hard. He's very happy to, to stay here. And, and for me, it's, it's very important because I need um, um give uh, they give me the opportunity, they need this opportunity and I need uh, work hard to, to for him. You took a corner on Saturday, which led to um, Body. I just wondered, are you any good at free kicks? Do you want to be a free kick taker at Chelsea this season? No, I think uh, it's, it's difficult the free kicks, but uh, in Brighton I training. But here are a good of good players to to take the free kicks. Maybe if if they have the opportunity, I I shoot one free kick and score hundred <laughs> um, percent. And just in terms of what do you want to achieve at Chelsea? You signed a six-year contract, so what do you want to achieve? Do you think this team can win the league this season and compete with Man City and Liverpool? Yeah, I think we have a good team, uh, a, a lot of uh, young players. Like win the, win trophies is like very difficult, but we we work hard all, all the season for for these moments. I think the team have experience to big big trophies. And I think this this is our objective in this in this season is like win win trophy and and obviously the Premier League is is one of of the best. And you've got Ben Chilwell, who's another good left back, left wing back. So are you going to compete with him, or do you want to be good teammates pushing each other on? No, of course they is uh, they help me a lot in in this in this in these first days. This is very good person, and I think it is good the competition because. Uh, we uh, we need uh, work hard to to play in one position. We have two players for one position, and, and if one player is better, but the this gaffa put put in the in the lineup, and this is is, is I think this is good for for the team. Okay, we've got uh, Raman, please. Yeah, cool, cool. can I just ask you about the hair? But just quickly, have you ever had a pull? Sorry, Raman, can we move on from the hair? We've spoken about it extensively now. It's a bit boring. Um, yeah, I just wanted to know if you had ever had it pulled. No, nah, we'll, we'll, we'll move on from that. Okay, sorry, Nick. Um, hi, Mark. Um, like they were saying about the, the six-year contract, obviously that's that's um, the club showing a lot of faith in you and your ability and ability to, to improve as well in the coming in the best years of your career potentially. Um, what what did the, the the owners say about you know? Obviously, that's quite a long contract, and it's a good thing for both parties, I guess. But what did they say about they say that that's that's what they wanted to show that how much they want you and they want you here for the long term. Yeah, because I think the maybe it's like a long time, but uh, maybe for take my best football or or before you go to a, a new club, you need uh, some years to to adapting. And I think it's good. I'm not pressured and not uh, in my mind is not like uh, six months. It's like work hard, play for the team, uh, enjoy the football, and this is only the papers. But I'm happy here. Maybe I stay more years. And then obviously um, the owners have, have made some big statement signings in the summer, haven't they? 
Um, did they say anything to you about how they see Chelsea moving forward? Because it's an exciting time. Yeah, no, no. When I speak, only he say me. I speak only Queta extend his contract. It's like only uh, he say me this, but but because I'm I'm focused on on my things. But I think is the team is is very good. Maybe if arrive uh, new new players is is better for the team. But I think the level of the team is is very high. Cheers, Nick. We'll go to Jerry at the back.